The FM Area Diversion Project continues to make history. It has already marked notable firsts, including the first water management project in North America to use a public-private partnership called a P3 for short. It's also the first ever P3 done in conjunction with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. I'm Tom Fuchs, the Senior Construction Manager for the Metro Flood Diversion Authority, here to share more firsts in this month's construction update. We start our drone view at the Red River structure, the largest of the three gated structures that will help regulate flows around the metro area during times of extreme flooding. Crews with Ames Construction, the Corps of Engineers contractor building the structure, have placed a lot of concrete in recent weeks. The last of the control structure's foundations were placed June 9th, and it's believed to be the largest single concrete pour ever in the Fargo-Moorhead area. 2,632 cubic yards of concrete went into place that day, or the equivalent of emptying 263 concrete mixer trucks. With the control structure foundation in place, which includes about 1.2 million pounds of rebar, crews are shifting their focus to the Stilling Basin Foundation, as well as the control structure piers and abutments. Over at the Wild Rice structure, which is nearing completion, we saw the bridge deck poured atop the west flood wall. The east bridge deck will be next along with continuous railings from end to end. Crews at the structure are also working to construct the remaining portions of the southern embankment at the project site. It will extend across the Wild Rice River and connect to portions already constructed at the nearby I-29 road raise project. Work also resumed on the southern embankment segment known as SE2A. The contractor is now stripping topsoil along the north end of the embankment from 112th Avenue extending to Drain 27, southeast of Horace, North Dakota. Close to 1 million cubic yards of material will be moved to complete this two-mile stretch of the embankment. In the meantime, work continues to move forward on excavating the 30-mile stormwater diversion channel. In Reach 3, which is just west of I-29 and about four miles north of Harwood, ASN Constructors is excavating the main channel while constructing the levee and the excavated material berms. As the main channel excavation continues to proceed upstream, final grading and topsoiling continues further downstream. In Reach 1, which extends from near County Road 4 east of Argusville, North Dakota, to the diversion outlet just west of Georgetown, Minnesota, we get a good look at the completed channel and all its features including the low flow channel, main channel, levee, excavated material berms, and tow ditches. Work also began this month on the largest of the two aqueducts that the P3 developer will construct. Structural excavation is now taking place at the Maple River Aqueduct site, where nearly 120,000 cubic yards of material will be excavated to reach the base of the structure, which will be nearly 40 feet below the existing surface level. As that excavation occurs, Excess material is being relocated to the West Fargo Lagoons to support that site for the city and community. The aqueducts will include many one-of-a-kind features that we are looking forward to showing you in the coming months. Be among the first to receive those construction updates and more by signing up to receive the Diversion Current at fmdiversion.gov slash subscribe.